Welcome to another Contreras music tutorial, one of very special free ones over here guys because I love what I do and I want to share it with you. This is technically part two and we are doing our Tasty Beats edition, recreating famous commercial beats. This one's our Snoop D-O-double-G and Dr. Dre edition and I hope you enjoy it. Let's get stuck right into it. Disclaimer, like in the other video, I assume you know what Pro Tools is and I assume you know how to set up a MIDI keyboard. If you don't, don't stress. Your first and best option, check out our course, contrastmusic.com. We have a Pro Tools for noobs. Check that out, a step-by-step -step show you how to set everything up and get ready to produce. If that's too hard or you can't afford four or five bucks, 10 bucks, fine. I've got a free one that summarizes everything and blitz it into about 10, 15 minutes or so. Um, and I'll show you how to get that in a dollar. Okay, how to get everything done for $1 instead of a big producer setup. Check out the courses, guys. Please visit contrastmusic.com. You should definitely donate as well, but invest in yourselves, do a course, learn, grow, improve, okay? So you still don't need a massive setup for this, but you should have Pro Tools in, whether that's Pro Tools first or any version, and you should have plugins for this, okay? I'm using the free plugins that came with Pro Tools, so no extra expense needed. And the other video that I did was no Pro Tools plugins, just a mic, your voice, and Pro Tools first. So if you wanna do this on absolute cheap, 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 check out that video. So we recreate this track with vocals. You can click somewhere below. But right now we're gonna do it production value using our MIDI and plugins, specifically the instruments, okay? Let's get stuck into this. Here we go, I'm gonna go quick, so keep up. All right, go ahead and open up Pro Tools, which I have already done. We're going to create a new session, okay? I'm gonna call this session uh, MIDI, and I like working with MIDI, you'll see why. Snoopy Dr. Dre Contreras Freshness. Okay, very official name. I'm gonna decide where it goes by saying, yeah, please put it into my Fresh Snoopy Dre Mix, which is a photo I've already created. And I'm going to go as follows. Wav, a wave, 44.1, 16-bit, last use. Don't argue, just follow. I know why I'm telling you this. Go interleaved, please, and make sure that the location is in the right place, and you're good to go. Let's create this. Go, mm. Now you should have your MIDI keyboard set up, your controller, it doesn't need to be expensive. Uh, check out our other blogs and videos about how to do this, and there's a wealth of information on YouTube. But anyone will do, as long as it connects and it's all lined up and works well with Pro Tools. So please check that out first, okay? Uh, you can do audio, but we're gonna be connecting it through via MIDI so we have more control, okay? You'll see, you'll see, trust me. Okay, so here are our wedded windows and our mixed windows, which are blank. Let's resize this, and that's cool. Okay, let's set up the session very quickly and then I'll show you the ingredients needed for this tasty, delicious mix. First and foremost, you need to be in grid mode for most of this, so we edit. Your uh, rulers are up here, as you can see. Our tempo needs to be at 95 BPM, so you double click there. Go 95, enter, you're good to go. Okay, there's your transport window, you got the little guy marked, okay? I like to use bars and beats so you can see this. We're gonna go ahead and create our starting master fader. That is a stereo master fader. Okay, you always need one of those. And let's create a click track so we can hear what's going on. You can stay mono, go instrument track. I like to literally go in and practice my plugins. Plugin, instrument, click. Okay, and when I hit spacebar, it should go to 95 BPM. Okay, you heard one click. Here we go. Beautiful, okay, we're in 4-4, most music is. Let's not get into that now. All right, now you do need your seven channels if you're gonna do the whole thing, but I've broken this video into two, so we've already done our big one for the audio. This one's gonna require only four channels. The four are MIDI, okay, instrument specifically. So four, let's go um, mono to keep it very genuine, or we can go three mono and one stereo for the drum kit. Um, but I'm gonna go four mono, 34, wouldn't that be cool? Four mono uh, instrument tracks, and we're gonna go create. Cool? Okay. Uh, proper, proper mixes, you should actually split up your drums. I'll split into three layers. I might even do this there, but keep it simple for now, and we'll keep it with these four layers, okay? 
All right, now let's be organized with our session. Let's begin, create new groups. Let's create our new group or control G. And I'm gonna say, all right, all of you guys, boom, add you in. Okay, you've got our instruments here and they're outside of master, okay, all of them in. And we've got an extra one, which is a click track. So I should probably remove that. Done, okay, good. All right, next, let's give some colors. So we're gonna go with piano at the top. I'm feeling bluish for piano. Then we're gonna go to the cello. So let's go brown, because they are dark and beautiful. The bass is gonna be purple, it's dark. Then we're gonna have some drum kit, which is gonna be red. And we'll leave our click alone. We're gonna go green. Okay, so go ahead and rename these. Okay, let's rename. So the top one, piano. Okay. Let's go to the next one. You can just hit next. Okay. Next one will be cello, followed by the bass, followed by Z drum kit. Okay, and that is your click. I could spell today. Okay, we're good. Control S, save it, and move the master down. Alrighty, so let's get our instruments set up. First and foremost, your piano is going to need your mini grant. Okay, here we go. It's going to load. See, so in the MIDI. So yes, you could physically go in and go clickety click, but it's just ridiculous. You can just play it in once it's record enabled. So if I take out my sound from the keyboard, don't hear anything. As soon as you record enable it. This is now controlling it inside. See that? Okay, we're in there. Okay, and then yes, you can play with a setup with your playback engine and get your samples. Okay, get your more samples, less samples. You can also go ignore errors, but it gives you clicks and stuff. I don't prefer to use that. Okay, um, just go okay. So we're good to go. All right. Let's begin. So back to our window, close this off. It's still running in the background. We can hear our click track. Two, three, four, and if I zoom in, I can see the bars. Always leave your first bar nice and empty. So you've got accounting for everything else, guys. All right, the original track goes like this. Ready? Still doing this, Andre, oh, for sure. So, bram, 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 bram. did you hear it? Oh, wait, put it in the air. Okay, so you listen. It's a bit slower in Pro Tools because we've got a bit of a delay, but it's there. So let's get playing, guys. Here is what we will need. Our tasty ingredients for the mix, as you see them there. Here is a summary. Enjoy. We see here we have got our piano, our cello, our bass guitar, our drum set. I've taken the liberty of transcribing this for you and I've chucked it into the link so you can download it yourselves. Here we go, A minor over C, E sus4 over B and E minor over B for the piano. If you don't know what that is, I've also transcribed the music there and you can see the MIDI underneath. There are the notes. If you don't read music, we'll learn, buddy. Yeah, learn. I am, I am a music teacher as well, but just learn to read it. And if you still can't read it, I'll give you the answer, don't stress, okay? Okay, let's take it out of record enable and I'll teach you. So put the volume up on my keyboard. Sorry. All right, you need C, E, A in your right hand. C, E, A, C at the bottom, E, A, okay? Look up a piano chart, find your way around to do that. I can't explain that in this video. That's a piano lesson. By the way, we do piano courses as well. Yes, my 24 years of music knowledge and piano, learning how to do that, condensed into one amazing course, contrasmusic.com if you wanna learn how to play piano like a pro. Okay, here we go, C, E, A, that's what you want. You're going to now refer to my sheet again that I gave you before. If I was you, I would print that off. I'll just print it and have it in the background, okay? Like I've got here. And we need a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Seven. Seven, that's what we get in, okay? So back to our mixing window, here we go. Record and enable. All right, I'm just going to go so I don't hear it. We've got audio coming in. You're ready, here we go. Deselect. Don't need to mute any of those, just want to mute this one. Okay, so you're ready. Whoops. And let's just go, whoop, delete this group for now. Okay, here we go. 
All right, you ready? I am. Click truck should be in. It is. Let's get this piano recording. Three, two, one. And remember, it's recording through our MIDI ground. When I play, you're gonna see it there, okay? So I'll keep it up so you can see everything. Three, two, one, leave the first bar blank. Three is to record enable, uh, to record once it's record enabled. Good luck, guys, let's do it. Bit anticlimactic. Okay, played rather imperfectly, but it's good enough. So, what did I do? I played the following. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven of those. Then I switched to my E sus4 over B, and I'll, I'll spell that out for you. B, E, A, B, A, A. You just drop one finger down. And I played one, two, three, four of those. One, two, three, four. Okay, so the seven of the first ones. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, drop. One, two, three, four. Then I drop my top finger to play a G at the top. So from bottom to top, that E minor over B, the last one goes B, E, G. One, two, three, four, five. The key is seven, four, five. Seven, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, five, etc. Seven, four, five. Okay? Hopefully you read some music or you can just follow along slowly with me. Now, you can go in the uh, difficult way, which is double click and go clickety click with a pencil tool and go and add in stuff. But that is hard, guys, and it doesn't sound beautiful. It's super hard and it's very tedious. I prefer to play it in. And I'm someone who writes music, okay? Even orchestral and classical. I wouldn't do that. Have a look. <laughs> Completely ruined, yeah? Control Z to get rid of it or just go. <laughs> Boom. Now you can quantize this if you'd like, um, if you want it to sound kind of like robotic a little bit, but select everything and that means to just shift the timing, make it solid. So you go to event, uh, temporal operations, event operations, quantize. And it just slightly moves them around if they're out of tempo. Mine were pretty good, but um, some weren't perfect. Let's listen. Ooh, 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 ooh. It might help you if the click is off or in grid, and this starts on grid. That could be the next thing. So let's slip this into the multi tool. E, boom. And we get everything nice and schmack bang on tempo. Grid. All right, here we go. MIDI. Have a look at our work. Okay, so see how there's a tiny bit of mistakes here, a couple of extra notes. I love this about MIDI that you can edit these out. You can just go, whoops, it easy. They're gone. How easy is that? If you're using audio, you cannot do that unless you've got like Melodyne or something, and even then it's hard. Okay, and we can just get rid of that. Okay, how cool was that? You can just get rid of that. You could literally go, all right, I want this up by a semitone. Check it out. Remix, I want this up by three. What's it gonna sound like? Can you hear now? Come on. That's the beauty of MIDI. You can change it to whatever you want, guys. It's super cool. Okay, so we don't wanna do that. Let's select everything. Let's make sure we're in grid mode and let's quantize it. Quantize, cool. All right, so it should be nice and in tempo. Rum, bum, 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 bum. And already though, some of it is out. So let's edit that slip. And you don't need to do any crossfades when you're doing MIDI. That's the beauty of MIDI. Because they happen when they happen. Slightly late. It doesn't have to be perfect, but da da da. And now these are early, see? That's fine. You could even go like, right, you are you, you right here, where were you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're early. You can move it around. See if you put it in slip. But that's fine. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, from here now is where it doubles up. We don't need all of that. We need. And we need it there. So let's go to grid. Let's go surgeons. Surgery gone. Let's consolidate this whole thing. Control Alt 3. Shift Alt 3, sorry. 
and then it should be able to duplicate if this gap is correct. Ah, oh, I'm loving these beats. We're in. Save, control S. Piano is done, uh, moving it right along. Okay, here we go. Tello, let's mute this. For cello, again, I've got beautiful plugins. I've got some delicious plugins that I would love to share and use with you, but they are over a thousand dollars, some of them. So what's the point? I've got even got East West uh, Sym um, Symphony. Uh, there's a couple others of Vienna. Well, let's not get into it. We're on the cheap here, remember? So we're gonna go to the standard plugins that you get with Pro Tools, which are actually not bad. You'd be surprised. Uh, Xband is our first one. This has got everything in it. Super cool, super cool, all right? Have some fun with it. I know it seems like, oh, there's so many sounds, where do I begin? Keep it simple and just play around. That's my biggest tip for anybody producers, okay? Beneath the waves. I mean, there's some cinematic music right there. It's powerful. Um, film scoring, another course we're gonna offer soon. Stay tuned. But no, we need a cello. So to do that, we go into our expand here. We go to strings. If I could find them, where are my galasha strings? Okay, we need a cello solo. Now, hey, look what happened. They actually don't have cellos. My, my, my. I'm gonna go big violin, solo violin. Because you make do with what you got. Yeah, you could have a cheap little keyboard, go plug in audio, I'll show you how to do that in another video, and use their synth or their violin sounds. It's okay, it doesn't matter. Chuck the violin down in the lowest register, or the second lowest, and you've got yourself a cello. Again, all the classical people going, ew, go away, classical people. I'm, I'm one of you guys too, okay? I'm not even kidding. But um, this is production, this is fun stuff, okay? This is fun and creative with what we have. If we don't have a cellist, we make it happen, okay? All right, so here we go, record enable. Your notes are, refer to my taste ingredients and the cheat sheet, but your notes are E, A, B, E. E, A, B, E, E, A, B, E. That is all you need. Okay, so you're ready. Let's record. Okay, slight little lag because I'm screencasting an A, B, C, D. Let's not make excuses, let's make music. You're ready. Ba-dum, shalip. Ba-dum. There we go. Ba-dum, da-dum. And this is what I love, MIDI. MIDI, did you say, guys, you notes, not you, you notes. You are a bit naughty, you are too. There we go, and you are, you are fine. Do-dum, do-dum. Da -dum. That's fine, that's fine. Do -dum, da -dum. Basically, I'm doing what quantize would do. But I'm showing you how it's done. Okay, here we go, back in. Uh, -dum. And it technically starts here, so if we go. Now, if you cut MIDI, ugly stuff starts to happen when you move, and it just, here it didn't happen, but it will happen, believe me. Like, it'll just delete stuff, see? So, whenever you cut MIDI blocks, if you will, make sure that there's clean cuts between them, okay? Make sure, please. So I like to do this, go into grid which we are on, and just clean cut, okay? So now when I do this, okay, it moves cleanly, okay? And we can make this come here, okay, that's fine. So ready, here we go, ba -dum. I've cut it here so we can loop it, da -dum. Da -dum, da -dum, da -dum, ba -dum. Okay. And we'll make sure that that doesn't spill over. We need the cut to be here, sorry. Delete, delete, good, okay. And then if we duplicate this, let's have a listen, it should be fine. So we need our first note, don't we? Okay, good, delete. Delete this one here. Okay. Oops, into grid. Christian, what are you doing? There we go. Okay. For some interesting reason, it doesn't seem to be getting this note. It doesn't like this note. Ah, because it didn't cut in the right place. Christian, what are you teaching these guys? Call yourself a producer or a teacher. So just to realize, guys, see what happened? A tiny, tiny little cut was made in the wrong place. Um, make it in the right place between the two. Or just edit it. Just edit properly. Make sure you're in grid, not in slip. Okay, when you edit stuff. And there's the notes. Okay. 
So anyway, you've got this set up, it's all there. When you hit duplicate, now we've got some tasty beats. Have a check it out. Timing. Beautiful. Haha, last minute. Ready? I hit duplicate and we'll do it. And we're in. See, just duplicate all the way. Okay, beautiful. Okay, so that's there, that's there. What does it sound like? Ready? Disable the mute, space bar. It's a bit soft. Instead of mixing the thing, you go into it, you get to the velocity, which is here. And like, it's like a cheap way of saying volume. And you can just give it a little nudge. Just a little nudge, okay? But later we'll do the mixing, okay? Here we go, next, next, the bass. We're gonna do the bass. Let's go into the bass, you ready? Here we go for the bass. Watch me. And he's a genius. It's the same thing. Maybe a little bit longer, maybe. Now you see that they're gray because, guess what, they've got no player. This is code, guys, this is velocity, this is pitch, this is, MIDI's got the five elements. It tells exactly what you're playing, when you're playing, when you let it go, when you press it the volume, well not volume, velocity, etc. And it gives it to somebody, it says play it. If you don't have a musician, which in this case are the plugins to play it, no one's gonna play this. And if you have a look at my mix window, look, no one's there to play it. That's why it's in gray. You can't hear anything if I hit. For more information, check out our audio versus MIDI course. I believe it's a free one. Check it out and you'll see the difference. But I'll teach you now in a second. As soon as we put a plug in, so do you remember this? Have a look, gray. Nothing plays. As soon as you put the Z plug in, I'm gonna just gonna copy it over by hitting Alt and then clicking and dragging. And then I don't want another that, I want a nice bass. So I'm gonna go, how does fretless sound like? Let's go control it. Too punchy like Mario Bros for me. So let's choose a different bass. How about a soft finger bass? I like it. The attack's a little bit strong. If you don't know what I'm talking about, just follow what I'm doing, don't stress. That's better. Okay. Leave the cut off. Okay. Beautiful. We're good to go. I don't even need to record it. It's already done. Look at this. <gasps> oops, oops. Solo. Come on. Loving it. Loving it. Okay. So just to make it a little more authentic, I'm going to just make this a bit longer. And I can just actually bleed that over a little bit. Just a tiny bit. Bleed it over. Okay, all right. Lovely. Let's see that with the piano. Yeah. It's a bit heavy, I know. The bass is a little bit heavy. Turn that right down and we're good to go. Next, the drum kit. Okay, the part everyone's been waiting for. Where the beat's coming, where's the beat? Is that around the beat? It's not, shut up. No, I'm sorry, I'll take that back. Um, yes, we do want drum kits, okay? We want that in, we're gonna go boom. But it's not all about the beat in the drum kits, it's about putting the whole thing together, making some amazingness. So that's what we're gonna do right now, okay? Back to the ingredients list for this last part of our tasty mix. Tasty, tasty. All right, as you can see, you've got the So every three, if you look at the top part, that's the little X's. If you don't read drum notation, again, educate yourself. Find out how, or take one of our, I think tutorials, I think we've got a blog on that, but check it out, it's not hard. Just Google drum notation, Google the image. Here's a free one. You've got open, sorry, closed, open, closed. Every three. Every three or so, with exception of the beginning one. So that's the first thing we want to record. And that's emulating the open and close hi hats. So let's record that in and now. Are you ready? Here we go. We've got a boom set up. You can go through 
and listen to every single thing that you like and get it beautiful. I just like to use my Nano kit and I like, that works. That'll work for now. We can edit everything individually and do whatever, but nah. Okay, you go clear, don't ever use these unless it's for inspiration only. You don't wanna create music that other people have done identically and have the same beat as somebody else. Come on, use these factory defaults for, let's say inspiration, but not to recreate beats. Come up with your own stuff, guys, yeah? Timberland, yeah, massive producer, old school guy, check him out. Um, all of his stuff starts off with vocals or some of his stuff starts with vocals and then he produces it. You should do the same. He even put a lot of his vocals into some of the beats that he's done for other artists. So, here we go. You ready? Let's program this. 16. You've got 16 buttons, you can hit them all in like this. Again, we've got a tutorial on how to work this, but look. The hi-hat, see? Okay, I can do it with a kick, 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 for example, listen. And most beats are kick, snare, so kick, snare, kick, snare, on beat two and four, check it out. Okay, so there it is. Um, we don't want that though, we want the actual beat, so let's clear this and do it properly. Refer to your transcription, which I'm pulling up now. Okay, so open hi-hats. Close hi-hats, okay? So we're gonna go close hi-hats. I'm gonna click here and I can input it here or you can literally click it up here as well to do as we did like that, see? This might sound amazing. Oh yes, call me a producer, clear. Okay, so these are the beats. I'm gonna do it here so you can see it very clearly. Okay, so close hi-hat. We go close hi-hat in and then we go open hi-hat which is right here. So three. And then three, so there's a three, there's a one, there's a three. If you loop it back like Mario Brothers, have a listen. Okay, now we need the. So that is. That's all it is. And now we need the. No. You ready for this? Here's a reference to the original. I'm not lying. Ready? Smoke some with your dog. No. And don't smoke some with your don't smoke anything. Be healthy, be good, stay in school. I'm serious. Okay, now I know the kick sounds a little bit like boom, like disco. -y. That's just you can you can modify that, turn that one up. Turn the decay down. Turn this tune down. Have a listen to it. There we go. Okay, we've got it. We've got it. Cool. And that is already in MIDI mode. So, um, slightly more complicated to get this to play and print. It sometimes doesn't do it beautifully and you should print to audio, but let's save the lecture on everything else. I'm gonna mute that, record enable. I'm gonna hit play on this, spacebar and record it should record what we are playing. Oops. Okay, and I do what it does with a different routed plugin setting, but I'm going to do it the other way for you. So now we've got the kit in there, let's dig into the MIDI. This is actually a good lesson on how to do it with MIDI, okay? So, ready, boom. Let's go to view this as clips. I double click this clip and let's insert it like I just showed you, okay? All the work that we just did before is the same thing, but we do it in here, okay? So kick, where's our kick? Kick, okay? So we're going to go pencil tool. So, okay, now snare. What could it be? Where's my snare? Get on an E. Oh, we sound this one. Lit. And just so that we can get extra noise in the background, let's take our drum kit plug in boom. 
and tell it to kindly please shut up because we're trying to work here. So let's go clear. Yep. And close it. And then we go into here. There it is, okay, all right, so zoom up. Okay, so let's keep it in the same octave. Let's delete this, go down and keep it in the same octave. Two, okay. It's amazingness, okay. So I'm from bar two, so again, here it is. Get it. Yeah. I need that to be a little bit louder, please. Thank you. Okay, another hi hat. Where are they? Okay, G sharp and B or A sharp right here. So quaver, quaver. Got one, two here, and that goes in the two. So. Two, three, and one, two. And that is it, guys. That is it. Check it out. Solo it. View it. I love it. Check it out. Ready? Come on. Yeah, there it is. We duplicate it because you know it. And have a look. Come on. It's off there. Good. Okay. What does that sound like with the bass? Ready? Come on. Don't fight me, Pro Tools. I'll fight you back. Okay. Not too bad at all. Now we can uh, loop this. Or extend it to forever. I like to loop. You can do whatever. And anyway, it's nice to have a beat in the background. Let's just duplicate this for a little bit, okay? All right, here we go again. I'm just gonna tweak that kick. It's a little bit. Uh. Okay. Okay, what does it sound like when we pop the rest of the instruments in? You ready for this? Here we go. Drum kit and cello. Can you hear that long note? Let's get it. Yeah, bass please. Piano in three, two, one, go. people we did it we did it yes you and me we did it okay so if you've heard the original or the song again i've just chosen this because it's a hip-hop beat i'm not saying i condone it I, I like it i don't like it just nah okay and definitely not the content but the beat is pretty cool so you hear that it begins with a cello no bass and the drums at the beginning of the song which is here Okay, all right, so I'm just going to leave the bass out for now. It just gives it more effect. And here it is. Ready? A whole two bars and then it comes in. And then another two here. Three and four and one and two and three and four and one. Good. Bass, drum kit. Guess who's back? Okay, and just for fun, we're gonna leave it there, guys. It's been a blitz tutorial. Let's just finish on the boom. Dum, dum, dum. Okay, so we're gonna just edit that MIDI out. Go, go away. Beautiful. The cello can just do dum, 
Base can be the first node, and that's all we need is go snippity snip snip. So I go here, 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 shift down, control E, gone, gone, gone. Just need the here. Good. Okay, and we'll get a little ending like this. How cool is that? Save, control S. We are ready, people. Look at this beautifulness. Select it from the beginning. File, bounce to disk. We are bouncing now, bouncing it, and it's gonna ask us where you want it. I'll tell you exactly where I want it, or what I'm gonna call it. I've chosen it. Uh, you should keep it within the folders. I'm gonna go desktop just so we can speed this up and you can see our work. Use current folder. I'm going to go okay. Make sure it's add mp3. If not, just Google how to mp3 convert from WAV file. It's easy. You can upload the file and get it back as an mp3. 1644.1, interleaved, important. Okay, I've chosen it. I'm gonna offline it so I don't need to hear it and sit there and watch the whole thing. I wanna hit bounce. I'm gonna go me, myself, and Snoopy plus Dre. Uh, this is obviously uh, Eurohouse, absolutely. From my album, zzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzzz